Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashion Nation and I have the stay stitches in my skirt. I will be working on the bottom of this soon at the hemline, but I'm just re-securing just at the front of this a um, little bit of stay stitch right here. That way it stays secure. <laughs> Stay stitch joke. <laughs> it's funny to be able to do sewing jokes. But my simple stay stitches didn't take me that long and of course they're all going to be invisible from the actual side of the fabric, which all of you know is the plaid, the gingham that I'm working with. And as you can see right here, that hemline is pretty darn good. Especially, like I said before in the last video, it's really hard to get your fabric consistent like this and uh, have the color continuous as you go. So it's kind of like a continuum. <laughs> yeah. So uh, when I do get to this, what I will show you here is you take this. Obviously, you don't want to take it all the way through on the other side. And that's why we have this lining fabric. You want to make sure it just catches in that lining fabric. Except for when we do the actual stitching. You know, when I do the actual stitching here, here, and everywhere else on this, and I left an opening for the pockets. I did. I left an opening right here for the pockets. That way when I go to put those in, And, um, yeah, I wanted to leave that open so that I can stay stitch the pocket and then put, you know, put this to the machine. And you can see that I have the bodice portion of this pinned up here out of my way so that that's not going to get my way. I mean, I can simply just take the bodice off of Manny Quinn, but right now I don't want to do that. I just want to leave everything on here so that I could just work with it all at once. And um, I think doing this as a fit and flare is actually going to work out because not too often do we see any fit and flare style skirt or skirtings anymore. Um, and like I said, since I'm going to make this the bodice detachable from the skirt itself, um, you may be wondering, now how am I going to pull this off? I'm going to have a zipper in the bodice, but how am I going to pull this off to have this separate? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as soon as I finish the bodice portion, and this is why I wanted to get the skirt mostly in stay stitch before then, is put an inside buttonhole. That way you have a hidden buttonhole here. And then when you go to add the buttons to keep it up, you uh, manage the recut of your bodice, which means you're going to have a lot of fabric left for stuff like collar. Um, you may want to use it for making a uh, a uh, sleeve. So, you know, there's a, a lot that goes into this. Knowing that I have a yard of this fabric left is really helpful because of making waistbanding and being able to take that waistbanding and not actually have to touch this fabric for the waistbanding for the hidden buttonholes. You can actually do that 
just, you know, on the other waistband and you're going to put up on this, which of course, you know, is going to drop the skirt just a little, but that's okay. We actually want that. And the reason why I did it in the style that I did is because later on you can go back and make this fit and flare skirt into a pair of comfy summer pants. Oh, Not too many people do that. And, uh, you know, when you work with it like that, and I can't wait to get done with this so I can start on my regalia. And, um,. I have like a pattern in my head for like some beadwork that I'm going to do and add it down the shoulders of my regalia or possibly just around the neckline. You know, uh, normally on that, when we do the necklines for our regalia, especially I'm excited for this year's powwow because I get to dance with the Lenape and I'm very excited very excited and uh, I've always wondered if uh, Chief Thomas Morning Owl is still around. I did get confirmation that Chief Thomas Morning Owl of the Umatilla is still alive. He's, he's up there in age but you know hey <laughs> we natives are strong. Um much like other cultures, you have very strong people that uh, hang around for a while. Cause, you know, hey, we got stuff to do. And um, always when you're sewing, keep something to drink. And keep something to keep your hands moisturized because you know we don't want the dry skin like I said before this is from Sin City Soaps and Candles they make great natural product and I'm glad to have a, a an affiliate code I don't get paid but you know hey they send me a little extra here and there in my box and uh, you know I'm glad. Oh, I've been watching something funny lately. You guys might want to go check this out. Natives reactions to Native American memes. To Native memes. And <laughs> Baby Yoda. <laughs> that one's hilarious. Baby Yoda. <laughs> because yeah, I'm trying to figure out, is Yoda Native American? Or is like the first, um, yeah, <laughs> we don't know now, do we? Um, but we'll find out. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And like I said, you know, as soon as I'm done with this garment, which, you know, it's taken me a little while. Usually I don't do all the stay stitch. But, you know, it's kind of become a habit now to do a stay stitch. I probably won't do a stay stitch around here. Because I know I'm going to recut this. So that means, like, I might have to refit. Or go ahead and stitch. And then come back with a collar. And that's okay. See, I'm cool with that. Because I have enough fabric to go back in. And like I was saying, you know, a sleeve. You can do a cap sleeve on that. And that's okay. Because as you can see right here this almost fits on that like it's a cap sleeve so yeah I think this is coming out pretty good I just have the sides pinned back so it stays on mannequin and um, sitting here on the sofa in my room sewing away <laughs> and uh, so uh, when I'm completely done with this you know and of course I have to like stitch stitch down around the armpits now I'm thinking about you know a lot of people use your straight stitch I'm into the serger stitch lately on my machine now remember not 
all singer heavy duties have a um, the all the same stitching they do not um, I'm lucky that I got the serger stitch and like I said you know that's been my thing lately right after I uh, stay stitch my fabric then I will I will go back and stay stitch this down I will because I I really would love to do that and that is something I'm gonna to do today now hand stitching all this takes some time makes your fingers a little crampy you can cramp your hands that's for sure um, hand stitching your stay stitch but that stay stitch is very important yeah I know I need to like iron my seams open but I'll iron my seams open after I stay stitch this part back to the pocket because I also have to stitch the pockets together and then stay stitch that onto this or I may just whip stitch them on and then they're just there but and then hit it to the machine now when I go to do that what I'm gonna do like I said I'm gonna use the serger stitch on this I really have drawn accustomed to using that serger stitch. It's a thicker stitch. It's a stronger stitch. And I think it holds a lot better. That way our garments last longer and we don't have to worry about that. Now I may just use the straight stitch when I go in to add the extra waistbanding on here. You know, that's not going to be a problem because it actually hides the stitch more clean line. And then uh, go back and do uh, another, excuse me, another stitching um, stitch in the ditch um, to make that uh, stitch stronger as well. But uh, as for my regalia, a lot of that I really need to get started on. And uh, I really do. I need to get started on that. So that'll be uh, nice. This shouldn't take me much longer. I should probably be done with this, I would say, by the weekend maybe. Um which would be nice to have this done by the weekend okay I have a cat here that should not be in here come here kitten come here chubbins so anyway <laughs> he decided to get in here and oh you're okay so everybody stay happy stay healthy stay positive and as always stay blessed and I will see you in the next one I gotta go put him out there <laughs> say goodbye <laughs>